Hey there Capricorn, welcome. I got a surprise for you guys. I designed a new spread and it's a simple one. It says who, what, where and it's going to be a timeless reading so whenever you have to come across it. Uh, just do me a favor. If you like this spread, just give me a thumbs up in the comments um, so that I know that you want me to do more of these. And I'll be happy to oblige. Okay, let's start off with who are they? Ooh, page of swords there, the spy guy <laughs> or spy girl. Okay, let's see what we got in this person. First of all, they're the fool. They, somebody wants something new. They want to start something new. They might be they might be starting something new in their life. They might be going on a new path. They're doing something new. Okay, so we have the page of swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. So this could be someone um, that is watching you, that wants to talk to you, that wants a new beginning here. And they're trying to figure out what to do. They feel like you guys are meant to be together. Let me see what I have. Oh, yeah, there's going to be communication. We got a bird here. So there's going to be communication in divine timing because they feel like you're meant to be together or you're meant to have some kind of conversation because they've been doing a lot of reevaluating. Maybe reevaluating their life and then realizing how you fit into their life. So this is the destined opportunities, divine timing of the Wheel of Fortune. Let's clarify here. Which is a page of swords. So I know the bird. This is like communication, spiritual communication. But I think they're getting spoken to by spirit. And they also want to talk to you. I feel that very strongly. And the fool could be Aries Aquarius energy. So let's see here. Why do we have the page of swords here? You guys? Why do we have the page of swords? Okay, vibrations. Yeah, they're feeling vibrations. They're feeling your vibrations. They're also raising their own vibrations. So something's shifting for this person. Okay, now... What about the Wheel of Fortune? Let me move some more room here. What about the Wheel of Fortune? Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? Metamorphs. See, they're going through some kind of shift, some kind of change. That's where you come in. They feel that you or guys are destined to be together. They might be doing this because they want to be with you. Okay, they're going through a major transition, a change. Okay, and that's happening because it's supposed to happen. And let's see this um, reevaluation. Whoa, they're awakening. Yeah, see, this person is going through a major shift, a major change, and they're awakening to this connection. How special it was, how spiritual, how it's meant to be. And they might be taking a little break, a little pause at this time. Okay, now let's find out what are their intentions. Let's see, what are their intentions? Their intention is to come towards you, to leave whatever they have, where they're at or what they're doing. They're coming towards you. They're, you are where they're supposed to be. You're, this is tranquility ahead. That's what they feel about you. You guys are meant to be. They're coming. Okay, they're coming towards you. Let's see now. Ace of Wands, there's a spark, there's an inspiration. You inspire them. The Ace of Wands. This is um, creativity. This is being, um, it's just very, I'm just getting very creative here. And also, um, I'm getting like a spark, uh, spark of sexuality here, of, of feeling the intense connection here on a very um, sexual level. So we have here. Queen of Wands, yes. Okay, so this could be who's coming to you. It could be a, a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or they could find you. Just you're, They're just very attracted to you. And they see you as very confident and magnetic. But I think you both are that way. And also, at the bottom deck, we have a tower. So this person either is going to surprise you, which I think they are. But they're also going through, going through this, they're definitely going through a tower. Because this is going to blow in their mind. This is like a major overhaul, a major change, a major shift in energy. Um, yeah, they have to be going through some serious, I would say more than one tower. And this is divine intervention. And the tower is Aries and um, Scorpio energy. So let me get a charm on this Queen of Wands, which is, could be who's coming towards you, but we'll see. We have a cat. Okay, so this is nine lives I got right away. This person feels like they might even thought, or you might even thought, boy, they've been through a lot in their life. You're amazed that they're still around. And that's not going to be for everyone, but they might have been doing some tough things. And, um, but they're waking up for that. And also, this is independence. This is they getting their balance. This is, um, yeah, a very, um, intuitive energy, too. 
Okay, let's see. Why do we have the Six of Swords here? Nostalgia, see? They're coming towards you because they have such fond memories of you. It's very deep. This person is really holding on to this um, necklace, this heart necklace, very tight. They're not going to let you go. Okay, let's Ace of Wands. The pause came up again. See, they're taking a little breather, taking a pause, catching their breath because this all been kind of overwhelming for them, I think. I think I'll do this hook this way. Okay. Oh, you're their muse. You inspire them. They have a lot. Of, they're very creative, but they, by thinking about you, they get even more creative. They want to do something special for you. They're learning a lot of lessons. This is an open book, so it's like, I think when they come to you, they're going to be open book. They're going to explain everything, and they're also going to tell you everything that been, they've been going through. They want to just let you know everything that has been happening, because there's been a lot. Okay, now, where are they coming from? The moon! <laughs> okay, they're coming from this illusion. Now they're seeing reality because they were stuck in some kind of illusion here. They weren't seeing things. They were hiding things. Things were not clear. Now things are starting to become clear because they were in the world of their own, it seems like. Pisces energy. Okay, let's see what else we have. Page of Wands. Excitement and curiosity. They're excited. Something, whatever's changing, whatever's shifting, is really getting them excited. And they want to be with you to experience this because they're very excited about what's going on here. Um... That would be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Let's see. Also, communication coming for sure. Okay, we have the heart with the infinity symbol through it. They see this as a connection that has been through many lifetimes or it can pass the test of time that they, they will love you forever, infinity and beyond. It's um, excitement. They're going to communicate with you. This could be any form of communication, whether it's going to be a phone call or text or email or a letter, but they're going to try to contact you to get together. Okay, let's see. Temperance, restoration. They want to restore this connection, Sagittarius energy, and they want to make sure that you that they treat you equally. They didn't do this in the past. Whoever I'm tapping into, they did not do that in the past. They didn't. They breadcrumbed you. They they didn't treat you well, and they're going to change that if you let them. Okay, let's see. Why did we have the moon card here? Let's clarify this moon card. Ooh, destruction, see? Where they're coming from is this destruction. This they, They're breaking down this illusion that they were in. This is all falling apart, and now things are making sense. They thought they made sense before until this, this whole illusion came apart here. Let's see, now for the page of wands. We have family. Yeah, they want to be a family together with you. They're excited about this. Either they want to start a family, or they want to be within your family or somehow they see you as to be family okay these popped out and they're together regret of being in their pride and ego so now they're balancing things out there they're restoring things because they were acting like who the hell they were they're all about their pride about the ego what people thought they have a lot of regret for that they're not going to be like that anymore and we have yeah shadow work they're working on their shadow here they're working on this dark side in order to come to you as light and that's what they're going to do. Okay. Now let's go into this deck. Some more clarity here. Okay. This vibration with the page of swords. What? Is, get a card in that to clarify. We have stress. This situation causes stress and anxiety. Going through this, realizing and watching you too. I think they're stressing out because they're afraid that you're with somebody else. That's why they're watching you to see. Are you available? Are Is there a chance with, for this? But this is stressing them. Okay. What about... The Wheel of Fortune, the Metamorphosis. Obsession. Be careful. They are strong desire and attachment. If this person, they don't want to lose you, so they are obsessing over this fact that they might have lost you already. Okay, and this Awakening and the Reevaluation. Wheel of Luck. All things are aligned in your favor. Luck is on your side. See, the Wheel of Fortune is actually here twice. And things are going the way they're supposed to go. What about this nostalgia with the Six of Swords? Nostalgia is probably like the Six of Cups. Let's see, we have missing you. Your absence is felt. They long for your embrace once again. That's what they have there. They're coming towards you. They're coming. They're waiting to make sure that they're in good, a good frame of mind before they come. 
Okay, now this pause and the spark. Yeah, they're pausing for a second, taking a break. Transformation, a huge breakthrough is happening soon. So yeah, they're waiting and they, they almost feel like they're getting di guided to do things when they're supposed to do it. Transformation, this would be another tower. This would be, you know, them going through this change and yeah, like the metamorphosis. Big change. Also, this could be like the death card, Scorpio energy. Um, yeah, so um, ending for a new beginning. Now the Queen of Wands plus the Muse. Yeah, they're very attracted to you. You inspire them. That's for sure. Romance. Oh, yes. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. This person is going to romance you. And what about this moon with the destruction? Ex-partner. An unfinished love connection. This situation may involve ex. Yep, that's you. They want to fix this with you. And what about this excitement? New love. Okay, they're coming in as a whole new person. That's the new love. There could be a new person coming in too, for you too, that which is going to make them move quicker. I think that could be happening too. Potential love connection awaits. And now for this last one, we have confusion. The present is clouded as a future uncertain. Most inf more information is needed for clarity. Yeah, that's why they're going through this um, restoration. They're trying to figure things out because they're a little confused but they're working on it. and there's going to be a reconciliation the renewal of the past connection is taking place so expect them to come in because they're coming they're just getting ready they're making sure they got everything straightened out before they come they're going to make sure they cross all their t's dot all their i's and then you'll see them okay let's see what signs are we dealing with the Capricorn? what are the signs oh wait let me do my words first before i forget I'm jumping ahead here. So I just have two court cards. We have the page of oh no, do I have another one? Do I have a page of wands? Did I have I did it. Didn't I have a page of wands? Oh yeah, I did. Okay. Thought I did. Okay, three. Page of swords, queen of wands, and the page of wands. Okay. Gotcha. Okay now. Let's see what we have as page of swords. Freedom thinking soulmate regret see they're this person's thinking they have a lot of regret and they're freeing themselves to be with you soulmate connection okay now for the queen of wands alone memories lover denying for the longest time i think they were denied these memories and when they're alone they really think about you a lot and they're thinking about you as their lover okay what about the page of the page of um wands here career present past huh okay so there's some made some news coming in about the your career, the present and the past. So there's something some kind of news coming in. You might work with this person maybe in the past. Maybe they want to work with you again in the present, bring you back into the family. Um, but take this how it resonates. There's something to do with your career in the past and the present, and you're gonna there's gonna be some kind of news coming in about it. But there's also this love for infinity here. So it might resonate with you, it might not. Okay. So now let's go on to the signs. What are the signs here for Capricorn? What are the signs? Leo. Gemini. Libra. Sagittarius. Virgo. And Aquarius. Wow, we have all the air signs. Well, we do have the page of swords here. And then we do have for the wands, we have the Leo and Sagittarius. Virgo. Okay, so there could be placements in your chart, placement on other people's charts, past, present, future. We have Leo, Gemini, Libra, Sagittarius, Virgo, and Aquarius. Now we'll do the letters. We'll do 11 letters, and this will be our initials, first name, last name, and then you get both the first and last. So you know someone's middle name, you get that all the better. Past, present, and future, and also your own initials. We have Y, I, Y, X, Y, wow, W, U, 
L R O R and then take V too because I flipped it. So if you V will be there too. Okay, and V another V and L. Okay, so the letters we have for you today are Y I Y X Y W U L R V L. If you need another V, you can have it since it flipped. Okay, now let's see what names we have for you guys. What are the names? What are the names? Let's get them on the bottom here. I want to do this, but I don't want to drop too many. Oh, I want to make sure that some of these they get stuck together. I might need a new container again. Jeez. I don't want something too big. I don't have room for it. Okay. Let's see. We have Siren, C I A R A N, Tandra, T A N D R A. We have Kenyetta, K-E-N-Y-E-T-T-A. We have Helen, Riza, R-I-Z-A. Grace, Artie, Frederick, Josh, Morelda. How many do I have? Okay, I have 10. Okay, I need one more. Just one more. Way in the bottom, way in the bottom. Let's see. Who's on the bottom? Hind, Hind, H I N D. Okay, those are your names. And um, remember these are general readings, they're not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. And remember to give me a thumbs up if you like the spread, and I'll do it again. Um, so I appreciate all you guys. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you so much.